The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Unto him is referred knowledge of the hour, and no fruits come forth from their sheaths, and no female bears or gives birth, save with his knowledge. And the day he summons them, Where are my partners? They will say, We declare to thee there is not among us any witness, and strayed from them will be what they called to before, and they will see that they have no place of refuge. Man tires not of calling for good, but if evil touches him, he is without hope, despairing. And if we cause him to taste mercy after an affliction touches him, he will say, This is mine, and I think not that the hour will take place. And if I am brought back to my Lord, mine will be the best with him. But we will inform those who are indifferent to warning about what they did, and we will make them taste of a stern punishment. And when we give grace to man, he turns away and remains aloof on his side. And when evil touches him, then is he full of long supplication. Say thou, have you considered? If it be from God, then you reject it. Who is further astray than one who is in extreme schism? We will show them our proofs in the horizons and in themselves, until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. Does it not suffice concerning thy Lord that he is witness to all things? In truth, they are in doubt about the meeting with their Lord. In truth, he encompasses all things. Chapter 42 in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Ha Mim Ain Sin Qaf. Thus instructs thee and those before thee, God, the Mighty, the Wise. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and he is the exalted, the tremendous. The heavens are nigh rent from above themselves, and the angels give glory with the praise of their Lord, and ask forgiveness for those on the earth. In truth, God, he is the forgiver, the merciful. And those who take allies besides him, God is custodian over them, and thou art not a guardian over them. And thus we instruct thee by an Arabic recitation that thou warn the mother of cities and those around her, and that thou warn of the day of gathering whereof there is no doubt. Some will be in the garden and some in the inferno. And had God willed, he would have made them one community. But God makes whom he wills enter into his mercy, and the wrongdoers have neither ally nor helper. If they have taken allies besides him, God, he is the ally, and he gives life to the dead, and he is powerful over all things, and that wherein you differ in anything, the judgment thereof is to God. That is God, my Lord, in whom I place my trust and to whom I turn. The originator of the heavens and the earth, he has made for you among yourselves pairs, and among the cattle pairs, he multiplies you thereby. There is nothing like him, and he is the hearer, the seeing. His are the keys of the heavens and the earth. He expands and straightens provision for whom he wills. He knows all things. He set down for you of doctrine what he enjoined upon Nuh, and which we have instructed thee, 
and what we enjoined upon Ibrahim and Musa and Isa. Uphold the doctrine and be not divided therein. Difficult for the idolaters is that to which thou invitest them. God chooses for himself whom he wills and guides to himself him who turns in repentance. And they became divided only after knowledge came to them through sectarian zealotry between them. And had it not been for a word that had gone forth from thy Lord to a named term, it would have been concluded between them. And those who were made to inherit the law after them are in sceptical doubt concerning it. So to that then call thou, and be thou upright as thou art commanded, and follow thou not their vain desires, but say thou, I believe in what God sent down of decree, and I am commanded to be just among you. God is our Lord and your Lord. To us be our works, and to you be your works. There is no argument between us and you. God will bring us together, and to him is the journey's end. And those who dispute concerning God after that answer has been made to them, their argument has no weight with their Lord, and wrath is upon them, and they have a severe punishment. God it is who sent down the law with truth and balance, and what can make thee know but that the hour may be nigh? Those who believe not in it seek to hasten it, but those who heed warning are apprehensive of it, and know that it is the truth. In truth, those who dispute the hour are in profound error. God is subtle with his servants. He provides for whom he wills, and he is the strong, the mighty. Whoso desires the tilth of the hereafter, we increase him in its tilth. And whoso desires the tilth of this world, we give him thereof, and he has no portion in the hereafter. If they have partners which set down for them of doctrine that for which God has not given leave, ellipsis, then have they no portion in the hereafter. To continue, and had it not been for the word of decision, it would have been concluded between them, and the wrongdoers have a painful punishment. Thou wilt see the wrongdoers apprehensive of what they have earned when it falls upon them, and those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness will be in the lush fields of the gardens. They will have what they wish in the sight of their Lord. That is the great favour, that of which God gives glad tidings to his servants who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness. Say thou, I ask of you no reward for it, save love among kin. And whoso performs a good deed, we add for him good therein. God is forgiving, appreciative. If they say he invented a lie about God, if God wills, he can seal up thy heart, and God eliminates vanity and establishes truth by his words, he knows what is in the breasts. And he it is who accepts repentance from his servants, and pardons evil, and knows what you do, and responds to those who heed warning, and do deeds of righteousness, and increases them of his bounty. And those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, they have a severe punishment. And had God enlarged the provision for his servants, they would oppress in the earth. But he sends down in measure what he wills. He is of his servants, aware, seeing.
and he it is who sends down the rain after they have despaired and unfurls his mercy and he is the ally the praiseworthy and among his proofs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and what he has spread therein of creatures and he has power to gather them when he wills and what befalls you of misfortune it is because of what your hands earn and he pardons much and you cannot escape in the earth and you have besides god neither ally nor helper and among his proofs are the ships on the sea like landmarks if he wills he calms the wind and they become still upon its surface in that are proofs for everyone patient and grateful or he causes them to perish for what they have earned and he pardons much and those who dispute concerning our proofs will know they have no place of refuge and what you have been given of anything is the enjoyment of the life of this world and what is with god is better and more lasting for those who heed warning and in their lord place their trust and those who abstain from the enormities of falsehood and sexual immoralities and when wrath they forgive and those who respond to their lord and uphold the duty and their affair is by mutual consultation and of what we provide them they spend and those who when sectarian zealotry befalls them help themselves and the reward of evil is evil the like thereof but whoso pardons and does right his reward is upon god he loves not the wrongdoers and whoso helps himself after injustice against him these there is no way against them there is but a way against those who wrong men and oppress in the earth without cause they have a painful punishment and whoso is patient and forgives that is among the determination of matters and whom god sends astray there is for him no ally after him and thou wilt see the wrongdoers when they see the punishment saying is there any way of return and thou wilt see them exposed to it humble from weakness looking on from a gaze hidden and those who heed warning will say the losers are those who lose themselves and their families on the day of resurrection in truth the wrongdoers are in lasting punishment and they have no allies to help them besides god and whom god sends astray for him there is no way respond to your lord before there comes a day there is no repelling from god you will have no refuge that day and you will have no denial and if they turn away we sent thee not as a custodian over them upon thee is only the communication and when we cause man to taste mercy from us he exults thereat and if evil befalls them because of what their hands sent before them then is man an ingrate to god belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth he creates what he wills he gives to whom he wills females and he gives to whom he wills males or he combines them males and females and he makes barren whom he wills he is knowing powerful and it is for a mortal that god should speak to him only by instruction or from behind a barrier or send a messenger and give instruction by his leave in what he wills he is exalted wise
And thus we instruct thee by a spirit, by our command. Thou knewest not what was the law, nor what was faith, but we made it a light, whereby we guide whom we will of our servants. And thou guidest to a straight path, the path of God, to whom belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. In truth, matters end in God. Chapter 43 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. ha Mim. By the clear law, we made it an Arabic recitation that you might use reason, and it is in the foundation of the law, in our presence exalted, wise. Shall we then turn the remembrance away from you because you are a people committing excess? And how many a prophet did we send to the former peoples? And there came not to them any prophet, save they mocked him. And we have destroyed stronger than them in might. And the example of the former peoples has gone before. And if thou ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say there created them the mighty the knowing, who made the earth a bed for you, and placed roads for you therein, that you might be rightly guided, and who sent down water from the sky in measure, and we resurrect dead land thereby, thus will you be brought forth, and who created all its kinds, and made for you ships and cattle whereon you ride, that you might take your places upon their backs. Then remember the grace of your Lord when you take your places thereon, and say, Glory be unto him who has made this serviceable to us, and we put it not in subjection, and to our Lord are we returning. But they make for him from among his servants a portion. Man is an obvious ingrate. If he took of what he creates daughters and chose for you sons. But when one of them has glad tidings of that, the like of which he ascribes to the Almighty, his face turns black and he suppresses grief. What, one brought up among ornaments and in conflict not seen? And they make the angels, those who are the servants of the Almighty, females. Did they witness their creation? Their witness will be recorded, and they will be questioned. And they say, Had the Almighty willed, we would not have served them. They have no knowledge of that. They tell only lies. If we gave them a decree before, then are they holding to it? The truth is, they say, we found our fathers in a community, and we are rightly guided following hard upon them. And thus we sent not before thee into a city any warner, save its opulent ones said, We found our fathers in a community, and we are guided following hard upon them. He said, Even though I bring you better guidance than that upon which you found your fathers? They said, we are deniers of that wherewith you have been sent. So we took retribution from them. Then see thou how was the final outcome of the repudiators. And when Ibrahim said to his father and his people, I am innocent of what you serve, save him who made me, for he will guide me. Ellipsis. They said, We found our fathers in a community, and we are guided following hard upon them. To continue. And he made it a word enduring among his progeny, that they might return. The truth is, I gave these and their fathers enjoyment until there came to them the truth and a clear messenger. And when the truth came to them, they said, this is sorcery, and we are deniers thereof. And they said, Oh, that this Qur'an had but been revealed to a great man of the two cities. 
Is it they who apportion the mercy of thy Lord? We apportion among them their livelihood in the life of this world and raise some of them above others in degree that some of them might take labour from others. But the mercy of thy Lord is better than what they amass. And were it not that mankind would become one community, we would have appointed for him who denies the Almighty roofs of silver for their dwellings and stairs whereby to ascend, and for their dwellings doors and couches whereon to recline and decoration. And all that is but the enjoyment of the life of this world. And the hereafter with your Lord is for those of prudent fear. And he who is blind to the remembrance of the Almighty, we assign to him a shaitan, and he is to him an intimate companion. And they divert them from the way, and they think that they are rightly guided. When he has come to us, he will say, Would that between me and thee were the distance of two Easts. Then evil is the intimate companion. And it benefits you not this day, when you have done wrong, that you be partners in the punishment. Canst thou make the deaf to hear, or canst thou guide the blind, or him who is in obvious error? And whether we take thee away, then we will extract retribution upon them, or we show thee that which we promised them, we are omnipotent over them. Hold thou fast that which thou art instructed. Thou art on a straight path, and it is a remembrance for thee and for thy people, and you will be questioned. And ask thou those of our messengers whom we sent before thee, whether we appointed gods to be served besides the Almighty. And we sent Musa with our proofs to Firaun and his eminent ones. And he said, I am a messenger of the Lord of all mankind. And when he brought them our proofs, then they laughed at them. And we showed them no proof, save it was greater than its sister. And we seized them with the punishment that they might return. And they said, O thou sorcerer, call thou to thy Lord for us by what he has pledged with thee. We will be rightly guided. But when we removed from them the punishment, then they reneged. And Firaun called to his people, saying, O my people, is then the dominion of Misr not mine, and these rivers flowing beneath me? Will you then not see? Am I better, or is this who is despised and barely makes clear? O oh, that armlets of gold had but been cast upon him, or angels had but come with him as associates, and he swayed his people and they obeyed him. They were a wantonly perfidious people. So when they had angered us, we took vengeance upon them and drowned them all together and made them a precedent and an example for those who came later. And when the son of Maryam is presented as an example, then thy people clamour thereat, and they say, Are our gods better, or is he? They present him to you only by way of contention. The truth is, they are a contentious people. He is only a servant to whom we gave grace, and whom we made an example for the children of Israel, and had we willed, we would have placed among you angels to be successors in the earth. And it is knowledge of the hour, doubt not concerning it, but follow me. This is a straight path, and let not the shaitan divert you. He is an open enemy to you. And when Isa came with clear evidence, he said, I have come to you with wisdom, and to make plain some of that concerning that wherein you differ. 
So be in prudent fear of God and obey me. God, he is my Lord and your Lord, so serve him. This is a straight path. Then the parties among them differed. Woe to those who did wrong from the punishment of a painful day. Await, they save, that the hour should come upon them unexpectedly when they perceive not. Friends that day will be enemies to one another, save those of prudent fear. O oh, my servants, you need not fear this day, nor will you regret. Those who believed in our proofs and were submitted, enter the garden, you and your wives rejoicing. Moved about among them will be plates and cups of gold, and therein will be what the souls desire and the eyes delight in, and therein will you abide eternally. And that is the garden which you are given as an inheritance for what you did. For you therein is abundant fruit whereof you will eat. The evildoers in the punishment of hell abide eternally. It will not be lightened for them, and they will despair therein, and we wrong them not, but they are the wrongdoers. And they will call out, O Malik, let thy Lord make an end of us. He will say, Here you will remain. We have brought thee the truth, but most of you are averse to the truth. If they determine any matter, then do we determine. If they think that we cannot hear their secret thoughts and their confidential conversation, verily our messengers are with them recording. Say thou, If the Almighty had a son, then would I be first among those who serve. Glory be unto the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the Lord of the throne, from what they describe. So leave thou them alone to jest and play, until they meet the day which they are promised. And he it is who is God in the sky, and God on earth, and he is the wise, the knowing. And blessed be he to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, and with whom is knowledge of the hour, and to him will you be returned. And those to whom they call besides him possess no intercession, save he who bears witness to the truth, and they know. And if thou ask them who created them, they will say, God, then how are they deluded? And his saying was, O oh my Lord, these are a people who do not believe. So overlook thou them, and say thou peace, and they will come to know. Chapter 44 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. ha Mim. By the clear law, we sent it down on a blessed night, we are warning, wherein every wise command is distinguished by command from our presence. We send mercy from thy Lord. He is the hearing, the knowing, Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, if you be certain. There is no God save he. He gives life and he gives death. Your Lord and Lord of your fathers of old. The truth is, they are in doubt, playing. So wait thou for the day the sky brings obvious smoke, covering the people. This is a painful punishment. Our Lord, remove thou from us the punishment. We are believers. How will the reminder be for them when a clear messenger had come to them? Then turned they away from him and said, one taught, possessed. If we remove the punishment a little, you will revert. The day we strike with the greatest violence, we will exact retribution. And we subjected the people of Firaun before them to means of denial, and there came to them a noble messenger, 
Deliver up to me the servants of God. I am a trustworthy messenger to you. And exalt not yourselves against God. I bring you a clear warrant. And I have sought refuge in my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me. And if you believe me not, then stay away from me. And he called to his Lord, These are an evil-doing people. Then travel thou by night with my servants, for you will be followed. And leave thou the sea tranquil, they are a force to be drowned. And how many were the gardens and springs they left, and cornlands and noble station, and ease wherein they found gladness. Thus, and we gave it as an inheritance to another people, and the sky and the earth wept not for them, and they were not granted respite. And we delivered the children of Israel from the humiliating punishment, from Firaun, he was high among the committers of excess, and we chose them according to knowledge above all mankind. And we gave them among proofs that wherein was a clear test. These say, There is only our former death, and we will not be raised. So bring back our fathers, if you be truthful. Are they better, or the people of Tubba, and those before them? We destroyed them. They were evil doers, And we created not the heavens and the earth and what is between them in jest. We created them only aright, but most of them know not. The day of decision is an appointed time for them all together. The day a friend can in nothing avail a friend, and they will not be helped, save he on whom God has mercy. He is the mighty, the merciful. The tree of Zakum, the food of the false, like molten brass it seethes in the bellies, like the seething of scalding liquid. Take him and drag him to the midst of hell, then pour over his head the punishment of a scalding liquid. Taste thou, thou art the mighty, the noble. This is that whereof you doubted. Those of prudent fear are in a secure station among gardens and springs, clothed in apparel of finest silk and brocade, facing one another. Thus, and we match them with pure, lustrous-eyed maidens. They call therein for every fruit in safety. They taste not death therein, save the former death and he will protect them from the punishment of hell as favour from thy Lord. That is the tremendous achievement. And we but made it easy in thy tongue that they might take heed. Then wait thou, they are waiting. Chapter 45 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. ha meme. The successive revelation of the law is from God, the mighty, the wise. In the heavens and the earth are proofs for the believers, and in your creation and the creatures he scatters in the earth are proofs for people who are certain. And in the alternation of night and day, and in what he sends down from the sky of provision, and gives life thereby to the earth after its death, and in the circulation of the winds are proofs for people who reason. Those are the proofs of God. We recite them to thee aright. Then in what narration after God and his proofs will they believe? Woe to every false deceiver, hearing the proofs of God recited to him, then persisting in arrogance as if he heard them not. Then give thou him tidings of a painful punishment. 
and when he knows anything of our proofs, he makes mockery of them. They have a humiliating punishment. Behind them is hell, and that which they earn will suffice them nothing, nor what they take as allies besides God. And they have a tremendous punishment. This is guidance, and those who deny the proofs of their Lord, they have the punishment of a painful scourge. God it is who made the sea serviceable to you, that the ships might run thereon by his command, and that you might seek of his bounty, and that you might be grateful. And he made serviceable to you what is in the heavens, and what is in the earth, all together from him. In that are proofs for people who reflect. Say thou to those who heed warning, Forgive those who wait not for the days of God, that he might reward people for what they earned. Whoso works righteousness, it is for his soul, and whoso does evil, it is against it. Then to your Lord will you be returned. And we gave the children of Israel the law and judgment and prophethood, and provided them with good things, and favoured them above all mankind, and gave them clear evidence of the command. And they differed only after knowledge had come to them through sectarian zealotry between them. Thy Lord will decide between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differed. Then have we set thee upon a way of command. Follow thou it, and follow thou not the vain desires of those who know not. They can avail thee nothing against God, and the wrongdoers are allies of one another, and God is the ally of those of prudent fear. This is a means of insight for mankind, and guidance and mercy for people who are certain. If those who commit evil suppose that we will make them as those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, the same in their living and their dying, evil is what they judge. And God created the heavens and the earth aright, and that every soul might be rewarded for what it earned, and they will not be wronged. Hast thou then considered him who takes as his God his vain desire, and God sent him astray according to knowledge, and sealed his hearing and his heart, and set over his sight a covering. Then who will guide him after God? Will you then not take heed? And they say, There is only our life of this world. We die and we live, and there destroys us only time. But they have no knowledge of that, they only guess. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, their argument is only that they say, Bring back our fathers if you be truthful. Say thou, God gives you life, then he gives you death, then he gathers you to the day of resurrection whereof there is no doubt. But most men know not. And to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. And the day the hour comes, that day, those who follow vanity will be lost. And thou wilt see every community on its knees, every community called to its decree. This day are you rewarded for what you did. This our decree speaks against you aright. We recorded what you did. Then, as for those who heeded warning and did deeds of righteousness, their Lord will make them enter into his mercy. That is the clear achievement. And as for those who were indifferent to warning, were not our proofs recited to you and you were proud and an evil-doing people? And when it was said, the promise of God is true, as is the hour about which there is no doubt. You said, we know not what the hour is. We think only conjecture, 
and we are not convinced. And the evil of what they did will be clear to them, and there will surround them that whereat they mocked. And it will be said, This day do we forget you as you forgot the meeting of this your day, and your habitation is the fire, and you will have no helpers. That is because you made mockery of the proofs of God and the life of this world deceived you. So that day they come not forth therefrom, nor are they allowed to make amends. And to God belongs the praise, the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, the Lord of all mankind. And to him belongs the majesty in the heavens and the earth. And he is the mighty, the wise.